guys, it's me, Desiree Marie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my crew, who I call my subbies, and welcome if you are watching me for the first time. I'm Desiree Marie, and I do lock videos. I show you guys pretty much all of my journey from the very start when I started with braid locks and then switched over to the two strand twists, and from there on have been growing my locks since i'm almost three years locked now and um i show you guys everything the washing process the maintenance process um understanding my hair the ups and downs of that some bloopers i show you guys everything i try to give you guys a very transparent look of what my journey looks like and um the things that work for me the things that don't in hopes to inspire and motivate you guys as you are on your lock journey or if you're thinking about getting locks but haven't taken the plunge yet i love bringing you guys inspiration um and so forth so i also do vlogs here and there um so actually today is going to be it's not going to be a hair video but it's going to be kind of like a check-in video a life update i guess you would say um i wanted to kind of share some things that have been going on in my life um and update you guys on some things as well all right so you guys know that i've you know moved here with my husband um, we're in Connecticut now and it is so it's such a difference from where I have been raised in New York I mean I wasn't raised in the actual city but I was kind of like in the city suburbs so that's where I basically you know lived my life in the suburbs um, in Queens New York Queens is more like a suburb depending on exactly where you would be you would find yourself in the suburbs um, there are more city areas in Queens, but where I was born and raised was more of the, you know, calm and kind of secluded, not secluded, but calm suburban life. Um, so I always was very much used to kind of like the suburban lifestyle kind of, but kind of mixed with the city edge, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I wanted to go to Manhattan, which is considered the city, I can just jump on the train and be there in like an hour. So I'm used to that and um, I'm used to like the fast paced lifestyle and just being surrounded with so many people and um, you know if I needed to go get like say a bag of chips, I wanted a bag of chips, I can go around the corner within like five minutes I'm at the store buying the chips and come back home you know but it is different now that I'm in Connecticut because Connecticut is more open is more wide open spaces so in order for me to get a bag of chips i might have to get in the car and drive a little distance to get a bag of chips you know um and the bag of chips may not be as cheap as the one in new york <laughs> the corner store the bodega but um if you're from new york you know you know what the bodega is um, I'm used to that convenience, the fast-paced lifestyle, um, being very, very close to my family because they live in New York. Being close to uh, a lot of things that I've been used to seeing all my life. Um, and so I kind of developed a know-how in how to get around and maneuver. And I knew, okay, if I needed to go to the beauty supply spot, there's one up the street. There's one also down the street, down that way. There's so many places, you know, I knew exactly how to maneuver where I was and how to move around. Um, I became very used to, uh, you know, where I was and, and, you know, when I first moved out of my mom's house, I was kind of in a place where I wanted to see more. I, I, I was getting bored of just seeing the same old things. So I wanted to see more than, than what Queens had to offer. I wanted to move to Brooklyn originally. I wanted to be more in the... Uh, city area but not quite the city like the man not Manhattan but you know in Brooklyn where it's not so city like it's not touristy I guess you could say so um, I was kind of bored of seeing the same old same old I wanted something new and fresh I wanted to surround myself with different people because in Queens in my part of Queens there's a lot of Caribbean people and I love my Caribbean people I'm from a Caribbean household I love it but at the same time, I wanted something new. So, um, and I know that there's a lot of Caribbeans in Brooklyn, but I wanted to move out there because there's more of a mixed culture, more of a mixed kind of norm. And I wanted to put myself in that to meet new people and to learn how to flow in that atmosphere. Instead, I ended up having to move to the other side of Queens, 
which it was a difference um, because I was living more amongst Jewish people and more amongst like Indians. Um, yeah, it was more of like a, an Asian, Indian, Jewish neighborhood. So um, I learned about that and how, you know, a lot of the Jews in that area, um, how they move as well. They, they go to their Saturday, you know, they go to the synagogue on Saturday morning. So I know Saturday mornings, there's a lot of stores around my area that are closed. <laughs> um, Friday nights, they close down shop very quickly early because of Sabbath. Um, they honor their Sabbath day, which is real cool. I love it. Um, and yeah, I learned a lot. I learned a lot in that area and about the people that I, I lived around. And so I knew how to move around in that area, but now I'm in Connecticut and it is a little bit more different. Um, I do live in a more suburban area. I am close to you know getting around close to different places that I might need to go which is really cool um, but I am in a more suburban area where it takes a vehicle to get around in New York you don't need a vehicle you don't need a car at all you can just jump in the subway and end up where you need to be as long as you have a metro card but out here um, they do have buses I see but I don't really know how to use them <laughs> and um, so I don't use them and plus everything that I need is pretty much within walking proximity so sometimes I feel like well in order to get to where I need to be like which is maybe five minutes away I can just walk you know I'm the type of person that would walk um, whereas a lot of people drive around here um, yeah so it's just a difference I, I do love it I do but I have to say it's an adjustment and I've been saying that since I moved here that it has been an adjustment because first of all I moved out of state <laughs> So I moved out of state, I switched careers, um, I'm away from all things that are familiar to me and now I have to develop a new norm with my husband and learn what that life will be. You know, So I'm kind of stuck in that place right now where I'm trying to figure out well what is the new norm for us and what will our family look like, what does our family dynamic look like apart from our, our family that we have you know been raised with you know what what culture will we develop as we are newly married in a new city in our first home together um so yeah i you know i i ask myself a lot like i i wonder and i ponder like wow well what does life what will life look out here you know i don't know anyone out here i only know maybe two people um jason and i mutual friends that live out here um but they live like in a few cities over so we don't quite like migrate over there as often even though we could we don't you know make the travel here and there and um, so I don't know a whole lot of people personally out here, which is kind of like a struggle. I talked about that before, how like I really want to find a church home so that I can, so Jason and I can be involved in a community and be able to give back in that way. So um, I moved out here, switched careers, no longer, you know, work in the career that I had worked before. And so that really took a toll on me because I have worked, um, in my past career I worked there for a long time you know 10 plus years and that's become a norm for me you know I, I've, I've been used to certain things and knowing how to do things right and you know it's just been like I kind of perfected that level of my life so much so that I could do it with my eyes closed you know I know how to um, you know help with the family business and run it and operate it and whatnot I knew all of those things so I was very confident in that because I knew how to do it I've been doing it for over 10 years now so now um, you know a month after us well you know shortly after we left New York I was unemployed so I started taking my YouTube channel more seriously and also um, working on my photography excuse me, my photography and film um, business that I'm developing. And if you follow me on Instagram, you saw my big launch. I did launch it and it's called MuseIllustrations.com. Um, you guys can check out all my work there. Um, yeah, I just launched that. But while I was still home, I, 
I felt like I was a, a housewife, you know, like, wow, like I'm here all day and now I have to develop a new norm for myself, develop a new routine because Jason, he works outside of the home. So I have to figure out, well, what will that, what does my life look like now that I'm in this new phase of my life? Like, you know, what do I know who I am apart from what I've done for 10 years plus? Like I had to re mind myself that I am not what I do. I am who God says I am, which is his child, his daughter. I do not define myself based on what I do, but who I am and who he has called me to be. So I struggled a lot in my identity early, um, shortly after moving because okay, now that I'm in a place, you know, I love this place. Like, it's so amazing. I love it. I love living here. But like, it's so different from what I'm used to. It's away from what I'm used to. And I now have to develop a new norm. So um, I spoke to you guys before about, you know, building, uh, trying to build my office space so that I can become productive in doing the things that, you know, I need to do during the day. Like, um, film my YouTube videos and work on my website and work on my f film and photography, um, I really wanted to uh, still have a sense of productivity even though I'm not like actually working in an actual establishment. So that was like, you know, a while ago. So now, <laughs> now I am employed i do work at an establishment out here um and it's something that i said i probably I, I always said i would not do this again um because i know what it feels like to be weighed down and not really flexible enough to do the things that i want to do say if i want to just go travel to Florida or something like this weekend I can just get up and go to Florida but now that I'm actually working at an establishment it kind of hinders me from like moving around as much as I want so yeah hubby and I decided that um it was best for me to work at a job right now um I'm not going to say that it, it it won't certainly won't be forever I God has confirmed that in my heart that this is not permanent but this is just temporary and the purpose of me working at working out here um is first of all to bring in you know extra income of course and to be able to save knock down debt um and have something for our future you know what i'm saying like what i'm doing right now youtube and film and photography it's not yet at the point where i can actually live off of that it is growing it is growing and i see potential but it's not yet there where i can say okay this is my full-time job so i learned that i have to kind of give kind of have to um give up the the thought of me working from home right now in order to build towards that so now that i'm working outside of home um I am doing something that like it is very uh, challenging to me even though I am very like experienced in the area of management and managing other people um, I am very much challenged in learning new things so I feel like I'm back to being a student all over again whereas in New York I was a pro I was I knew what I needed to do I knew my bearings and I did it now I'm out here and I feel like I am now I am now a student all over again. You know, I'm now learning from the very basics all over again. And sometimes like yesterday, it really sometimes, sometimes and just of yes just as of yesterday, I even, you know, kind of felt a little insecure like, wow, you know, I knew so much before and now I'm out here and I feel like I'm relearning everything. I'm relearning everything. I'm back to square one, relearning everything, relearning how to move around in somebody else's operation. And um, yeah, starting from the very beginning. Um, and I have to be grateful because it's all good. It's all good. It's exactly what we need right now. And like I said, it's not going to be permanent. This is only for until you know what I do here on YouTube and my film and photography takes off even more so I'm happy in the fact that this job now that I, I am working outside of home again I have a plan 
and it is not to stay there forever but it is for the purpose of building and kind of rebuilding and having you know building basically so it's not for me to just be there all the time just to be spending off the money and not knowing where it goes but to I'm actually putting a plan to the money that I'm making extra in addition to what I'm doing here and also with my film and photography so um, I'm glad that I have a plan I know that I'm I know that it's not forever um, and I do know that this is where God has me for has for me right now I'm in the place that I need to be because um, in order to run a business there's certain things that you just need to know and certain abilities and skills you need to develop. So I take this job outside of my home as a training ground, basically. Like it's teaching me how to be a more effective leader, how to be more organized, how to relate to people um, in a, you know, in a good manner, um, how to be how to be relatable, how to speak to people. You know, sometimes I could be a little bit of an introvert and I don't exactly want to speak to people but this is pushing me outside of my comfort zone to speak to people to relate to them to service them so I'm grateful for that I um, I'm also once you know I'm working with other people and working with different personalities and so that is a challenge as well but I know with God I can make it you know I'm confident I know that I can do it it's just sometimes I feel a little I, I feel pressure to perform and the fact that I'm new I want to perform the best way possible so that I can stay in this place but I have to remember like I'm doing the very best that I could and I, I, I give it to God every single day I pray every single day before I go to work that God will get the glory and that what you know he will give me the empowerment to do what I need to do effectively um, so that's where I've been pretty much like, you know, working outside of home and it's it's good as well because it also exposes me to this new environment that I am living in, you know, learning the people, the locals around this area and um, around the area in, in which I work and learning how, you know, learning the people, learning the people and their personalities and getting to know my co-workers you know I'm not home all day where I'm not interacting I can thank God that I'm now interacting with other people and I can talk to them about you know the the, the places around that I know about and it's exciting because yeah like we relate to like the lo the local gas station that gives coffee like it's just it's fun and like the local park that is awesome to take pictures like I love that I can relate to people that have been here and also ask them questions and kind of pick their brains and get to know what's out here as well. I'm glad to be able to service my community and not just, you know, just be here but actually have a purpose in this place that I'm at. So I thank God for that, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes I struggle with um, gratitude. I struggle with gratitude and where I'm at. Knowing that this is where God has me, knowing that this is what I have asked for, um, it's a bit of a struggle sometimes when I feel like I don't measure up and I just have to remember like Desiree you're doing the best that you could you do the best you could and you leave it to God and every day I'm learning you know I've only been at this job for a few weeks now and I'm now at a place where I can say like 80% I know what I need to do and I can do it you know I'm still learning some things sometimes I kind of trip up in different areas but I tend to like beat myself up a little too much and I just need to have confidence in myself, remind myself that I'm doing the very best I could. So I am, you know, I, I did tell you guys that I was my own boss, but shortly after that, you know, it's such as life that you need to do what you need to do in the season that you were in. I guess I was trying to be my own boss too early and God was like, no, I need you to kind of develop certain areas in inside in your you know in your life so that you can take it to the next level when you're full-blown you know working your film and photography I need you to kind of learn the basics the organization the the the, the, the you know different different ways of communicating like you know I already give all of this to God you know when I was feeling down in the dumps I realized that I just need to let go and let God you know let go and let him have his way in my life I know that he's planted me here for a purpose 
and I just need to get in alignment with what he has for me so that I can be my most happiest and productive. It doesn't make sense fighting God and where he has you. Sometimes you just have to let go, let go of your expectations, let go of what you wanted and just let him do it and he'll do it even better. So I believe that there is a there is great purpose in this season of my life right now and I say all of this to encourage you guys like you may not be exactly where you want to be but you are where God has you to be and where you are right now like I said it may not be where you want to be but it's training ground it's developing certain characters in you so that you can be prepared to go to the next level whatever God has for you you know you may Feel like your purpose is something completely different from what you're doing and you're kind of you know stuck in a place where you're confused just know that every part of your life is like you're you're always learning life is like a big learning lesson like there's so many lessons to learn we are all still students in some way even if we already know all our surroundings and everything around us and we're comfortable there's still yet more to learn so if you are in a place where you're not exactly doing what you want to do um, what I do is I work on the things that I, I know that God has purpose, purpose for me to do so as I'm working this job outside of home I'm not just working there just to come back home and not do anything else I'm still working on the side working on my film and photography I'm not giving up my dreams like this job is not going to deplete me of all my dreams and hopes just for the purpose of making some money to pay bills and you know wherever money needs to be no like I have a plan in this part of my life where I am being very intentional of what I'm doing and why I'm giving my time to certain things and I see this job as also a way to fund my dreams so that you know maybe a year or two later I can fully step into entrepreneurism and doing exactly what I want but that is in no this job is in no way going to take away from this platform me doing YouTube videos and taking uh, photos and doing exactly what I know I need to do what I'm born to do so if you are in a place where you're not you're, you're in a you're in a place where you're not exactly doing what you want to do I would say kind of like you know when you leave that area that job whatever that is that responsibility work an hour or two every day on what you know on what is your passion you know and that in itself will keep you alive and refreshed when you have to go into that nine to five job or whatever it is that you do knowing that you really don't want to do it um you know we're talking about ethical jobs here we're not talking about things that you know that that you you know you don't <laughs> you shouldn't be doing um ethical jobs jobs that are of good character um yeah so i would say take some time to develop your craft develop your passion your skills so that you can go refreshed and you know you're building each and every day you're building even though you're not where you want to be at least you're building towards something on the side and you're not just leaving it off you know so um that's where i am right now um, that's why I have not uploaded every single day like I did when I was home because now I have this job but I am uploading you know <laughs> right now I'm uploading shortly before having to go in for work today so yeah um, that's where I'm at <laughs> I'm working now outside of home but it is with purpose you know it is with purpose to serve other people in my community to build the lifestyle that I really really want to have for myself for Jason you know Jason is also obviously Jason works his job and he's well able to do this but I don't want to be a burden and as we are just we just now moved here I want to be able to contribute until I can then pull away from this full-time job so I know in this society we glamorize um, being a full entrepreneur and just quitting your job and just taking a leap of faith which is awesome I love that and I always tell people like sometimes you just got to get out of your comfort to really experience what God has for you but at the same time there is a process towards that and for some it may not be just to jump out into the wild 
God may have you, you know, have to work another job just so that you can learn what it is there so that you can build up towards your next, your next level. So there's levels to it, you know, and sometimes it's not, it, everyone's story is not the story of, oh, I'm, I, 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 I quit my job and only had like $20 in my bank account and I started this business. Sometimes God will have you to do um have you to do something else to build towards the life that you want you know so i have to constantly check myself when i am like kind of tempted to compare my life to somebody else's and just say you know what my journey is my journey and this is where god has for me to be and i have to develop a character of being content with where I am because it doesn't make sense being discontent with where God has for you to be because you can't fight God. He's going to win anyway. So you might as well just get your mind in alignment with his will for your life where you are right now so that you can fully enjoy it and not just waste the season of your life being miserable and grumpy all the way through. I don't want to do that because I know that that's going to come back to me in another lesson, another another test that I have to retake and I'm not willing to retake another test all over again. So um, yeah, that's where I am right now. Um, now with this job, I did have to kind of rearrange my schedule and stuff like that. So number one, YouTube. Um, I am back on my Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and sometimes Friday schedule. I'm not uploading every day. I'm uploading almost every day, okay? I, I'm uploading almost every day. Um, school. <laughs> As you guys know, I am enrolled in the Los Angeles Film School. I'm doing it online so that it accommodates my lifestyle. Um, because obviously I can't go to an actual college because that's going to take up time, like physical time. Being online, it's easy for me to jump in, do the courses at you know my own time of course there is a deadline at the end of the week but it's more easy for me um but now that i'm working outside of home it does take a toll on my schoolwork and just yesterday i had to have a conversation with my um my uh guidance counselor i guess you would say and just let her know the updates in my life and the fact that i need a little bit more time to catch up before then being able to jump in full swing onto my online courses because my attention can only go so far you know I can't take my attention and put it here 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 at the end of the day I'm going to be like you know done I want to have less responsibilities so that I can pour into all of them fully instead of like feeling overwhelmed with everything and not being productive in everything so yeah guys it is a little bit of a change in my life but I have to constantly remember to be grateful and I am grateful because it's everything that God dude listen I got a job out here only not even a whole month after being after having moved out to a new city God is so good he gave me a job not even a month later not even a full month later did i have a job already lined up i had my interview i only randomly sent them my resume and filled out the stuff online didn't i didn't even remember that i had done it it kind of just slipped my mind until they called me and i have to remember it is a blessing it is a blessing it is a blessing and the fact soon the fact that this job is so close to where i live i don't need to drive miles away just to go home I literally live right by where I work. <laughs> God is good, you know, so I leave it to God, you know. It's not exactly what I want to do with my life. It's not, but it is producing what I need for this season and for the seasons to come. And I have to remember that, and I listen to um, the Go Church online, which is Heather Lindsay and Cornel Cornelius Lindsay's ministry love their ministry love it um and the pastor cornelius lindsay always talks about nations nations waiting on your obedience nations waiting on you to get in line with where god has for you what god has for you to do right now and i see it as nations are waiting for me to get in alignment with my season right now to agree with god right now so that 
my future can be set. My future children won't be struggling, you know? They won't be without. My future, you know, my future in itself and the people that are attached to me, they will be blessed due to my small sacrifice in this season right now. I am so grateful. I have to be grateful. I have to count my blessings daily and just remember, this is good. This is good because not even a month later, God supplied the needs that he, that we didn't even know that we needed, you know? We didn't know that we needed, but he supplied it. So thank you guys for, for listening. I say all of this to encourage you with my story. If you are in a place in your life right now and it's not exactly where you want to be, I encourage you to take notice of your passions. What do you love to do? What gives you so much joy? What puts a spark in your eyes? Do that. Take some time to do it. Don't throw it out just because you have a job and you need to pay bills and make ends meet. No, you always remember your passions because those are the very things that, first of all, God put inside of you. And also, that keeps you feeling your very best. It keeps you refreshed. It refreshes me to take pictures of people and edit them and post it and, and see the smiles of those that, that see it. It refreshes me, it makes me so excited because I know that that is what God put me here for. You know, and I know that that is going to be my full-time job one day, you know? But I am encouraged right now. Take some time for what really matters to you, whatever that is, it could be anything, it can be cooking, it could be art, it could be spending time with your family and investing in your family. It could be reading a book. It could be writing a book. It could be starting your, your, your business on the side. Don't give up on your, on your vision, on your passions, on your dreams, just because you're an adult and you have to pay bills. That should not be our lifestyle. You know, that should not be our, our only choice to give our entire life just to pay bills. I don't, I don't agree with that, honestly. I don't agree with giving your, all your time and all of your resources to paying bills to not have anything left over. I don't agree with it because that leaves us feeling worn down. It leaves us feeling depleted and like we have nothing left to give. So work on what makes you happy until what makes you happy can be your full life. And always be encouraged in knowing that God has you where you need to be right now. It may not look like what you have envisioned in your mind, but there are certain necessary qualities and fruits and value in this season right now that will help you to produce even more fruit in the seasons to come in, your, in the life that you want to live and the, the life that you know God has put you here for. Don't give up. Don't give up just to be struggling and just to live out of a lifestyle of lack. I don't agree with that. And I would never tell anybody that. And that's not what my home is founded on. So, yeah, guys. I say all of this to encourage myself as well. Because every day I have to get up and encourage myself. But we can make it. We can make it with God. We can make it. With Jesus, we can make it. <laughs> So thank you guys for listening. If you listened for this far, guys, thank you. Thank you. I love you. Um, please comment down below. Comment something. Comment anything. I, I, you know, if you're in the same season as I am, like comment down below. Share your story if you're comfortable. And, you know, say something down below that will actually, you know, encourage somebody as well because we all need that in order to move forward. I know I will always talk about hair, but, I, you know, in order to grow beautiful hair and healthy hair, like, sometimes you got to check in on what's going on inside. It's not all about hair. I love talking about hair, but it's not all about hair. It's about the journey. And the journey is also the other parts of our life that have nothing to do with hair. Our life, our, you know, being a wife, a, a productive wife, a productive uh, spouse, a productive mother, a productive friend, family member, whatever, daughter, whatever you are, 
being productive in every area of our lives so that we can flourish and be our best selves, you know? So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you were encouraged. Just know that God loves you and he has a great purpose for your life. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, comment down below and subscribe if you love this video and you want to see many more like it. I have so much in store for you guys and I just want to take you guys on the journey. <laughs> okay, guys. So until the next video, later. Bye.